All right, we're flying in a DA-42, currently somewhere near, near Jacksonville, Florida. Heading south, climbing to an altitude of 4,000 feet on autopilot. So, how do we use autopilot in the DA-42? The way you activate it is you press the AP button. I just turned it off, that's why it beeped. Or Z. It'll turn it on and off. Off, it beeps again. And now we're on. Three ways to fly directions. We have heading, nav, and VOR. How do we switch between those three? Well, if we want to fly GPS, we would press the nav button. Turn off heading, go to CDI in your other display, and wait till it turns purple, and the plane will try to fly via, I mean, GPS. If we want to fly heading, which is what this heading bug is, we press heading, and use this knob to move our heading bug to give us our direction, Press the CDI button again till we have this solid green line. If you press the CDI button again and have, oh, went too far. If you have this, you're flying a VOR. I don't have one set up right now, so we're not worried about that. We're going to fly heading for now. Setting altitude. When you first start, you're going to have to press the altitude button before you can change anything. The enter button, left click goes down by 100 feet. Right click, when the first time you do it, will take you to zero. I don't know why, but right clicking again goes up by 100 feet. Also, scroll wheel up and down while your mouse is over the enter button. We'll go in 100 foot increments. Outside button, mouse wheel up and down for 1,000 foot increments, or right click and left click. Right click is up, left click is down. Once you set your altitude, you want to press the arm button so it will try to get to that altitude. If you don't press arm, it's not going to do anything. And that's setting, heading, and altitude and flying via GPS. I'm going to try and do one other thing on GPS. I'm going to press Shift 2 to make this window bigger. If you're flying to a location that has ILS or GPS for runways, you can press the PROC button. Select Approach will be highlighted when you open it. Press Enter. Press enter again, and you should be able to do a plus. You try and get there. Enter, and now we have all these options. Plus and minus here will move you up and down. If you select one of these GPS options and press enter, and then vectors, Enter again, load it. Now we're going to do PROC one more time. Enter to activate vector to final. Press Shift 2 to close this. Go back to CDI. Get it until it's purple. And press Nav on your autopilot box. What this will do, your plane will now fly a route that will line you up on that runway and all you have to worry about is managing your altitude. That's it for GPS right now. Other things aren't working the way they should. Close this window. Let me check and see if the altitude button works in the 42. And it does not. You should be able to change altitude by scrolling up and down right here but it won't let you. 
you should also be able to press Control shift z and use plus minus to move up and down but that's also not working the only way to change the altitude in the da42 and the da40 is using the knobs right here that's it i hope this helps